If a person has a mental illness or other mental abnormality that doesn't rise to the level of legal insanity, he or she can't assert the insanity defense. In People v. Carpenter, we'll see whether a defendant who wasn't legally insane could instead assert a diminished capacity defense. James Carpenter and Audrey Thomas were in a long-term relationship and had a child. Eventually, Carpenter and Thomas broke up, and Thomas began dating Aaron Blakely. One night, Carpenter went to Thomas's house. Carpenter yelled at Blakely to come outside. Carpenter then crashed through a window and forced himself inside Thomas's home. Carpenter pulled out a handgun and fired two shots directed at Thomas and Blakely. The shots missed Thomas and Blakely, but Carpenter then hit Blakely in the face and struck Thomas with his gun. Carpenter left Thomas's home and went back to his house. Once police arrived at Carpenter's house, he refused to come out and began screaming about demons and shouted that his money had been stolen. Carpenter was eventually arrested. Carpenter was charged with first-degree home invasion and two counts of assault with intent to commit murder. At his bench trial, Carpenter presented evidence that he had diminished capacity when he went to Thomas's house. A hospital report one month after the incident stated that Carpenter was delusional and had organic brain damage. In the hospital, doctors documented that Carpenter claimed that he heard voices and believed that an organization was using voodoo dolls against him. Carpenter also presented testimony from a doctor claiming that Carpenter's actions and his standoff with police suggested that Carpenter was mentally ill at the time of the incident. Therefore, Carpenter's doctor believed that Carpenter had diminished capacity and couldn't form the required specific intent for the crimes. In contrast, the prosecution's doctor testified that there was a possibility that Carpenter was exaggerating his mental state and that Carpenter wasn't psychotic when he attacked Thomas and Blakely. The trial court rejected Carpenter's diminished capacity defense, and Carpenter was found guilty. Carpenter appealed. The Court of Appeals affirmed the trial court's judgment. The Michigan Supreme Court granted cert.